So welcome to night two of our horror movie marathon. Um, we saw Child's Play 3. And once again, I'll let you go first. Uh, real quick, TLDR, what'd you think? Uh, after the first, the second one I had high hopes, and this one was a big letdown. I did not like it. No? Nope. So 10, probably not high then? I'll give it a four and a half, and I was going to give it like a three, but then there was a carnival at the end, so I'll give it four and a half. Alright. I'd give it... I want to say like 6. I enjoy it. I'd say it's above average, but definitely not as good as the first two. It felt like I was watching a, like a cheap made-for-TV movie that included swearing. And the whole time, like you could tell, like Terminator came out between the movie music, 2 and 3. I feel like the, the a music, lot. Yeah. The, the, the Silva girl, she looked like Sarah Connors. Andy, he had that same... O'Connor's kid, whatever his name was that I don't remember. Frank, I should, but I Franklin really don't Connors, I don't know. Come with me if you want to live. But they were like the whole movie was less like a Terminator knockoff, but with Chucky. Yeah, I can see that. I still, I still feel like they did a decent job with the story, at least. Like they still explained the situations and how everything comes to be, and like they they give you a reason for everything happening. But sure. But, yeah. yeah, it does, it feels a little more derivative than the other ones. Like, the other ones felt more necessary. This one, I think, like you said, more just, they just wanted they to saw like, other movies were doing good, so they did a knockoff of those, kind of. Yeah, yeah, I didn't like the story, didn't like any of the characters. The kills in it weren't anything more memorable. I will say the... The acting, I feel like, wasn't as great in this movie as the other ones either. Like, I still enjoyed it. I still, like, I wasn't put off by it at all. But, like, you mentioned how um, Andy and the girl there, whatever her name was, they had really good chemistry in the last one. And, like, it was just, it was fun to watch their acting because they played off each other well. Right. Here, I didn't feel that at all. None of the characters were great when they interacted. And even they tried to do the forced romance with... Andy and De Silva, De Silva, whatever. And it just, it felt like exactly that. It felt forced. It did, yeah. Like, if you've ever seen Paycheck with Ben Affleck and, um, what's her name that sucks and everything? Uma Thurman. It's the most unbelievable, just horrible on-screen romance. And this was kind of reminiscent of that. Like, it, at no point did I feel like they had an actual connection. It was just two people doing a thing. It felt like they were acting, not like they were actually in the role. Just like I love you, Philip Morris. All garbage. But we're not going to bring that up every video. Shh. It was a secret trend I was going for. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I still, the visuals I feel like were still good. Like, the special effects, they still do a lot of practical effects. Yeah. So I enjoyed that. Like, you know, yeah. they have the blood splatters of the blood packs, and Chucky is still very much just a animatronic, and... So sure. that's all still really good. When uh, Colonel Sergeant Major Dipshit was mm -hmm. shot from the side, you could see the splatter went in and then came out inside. Yeah. So that was cool. That was a neat effect. I also liked when the um, the older guy there, the whatever rank he was, when he fell against the table. I liked how it was kind of realistic, how the case like kind of slid and pushed back first and then, before giving up under his weight. Like yeah. that was really. It's a minor thing. It had nothing to do with the movie, but just cinematography-wise and just as far as creating the effect, it looked really good. Like, it looked more realistic. It, it looked better. Sure, yeah. It's not something everyone would notice, but if you've... I can get behind that. ...been behind the scenes of the thing, the way they made that look and the way they executed it was really well done. Yeah, all right. Well, that's about all there is to say about this yeah. movie. Overall, it, it, I didn't hate it, but definitely not as good as the first two. And maybe not even as good as Bride of Chucky. I know you don't remember much of it, mm -hmm. but that one, it's its a little campier. Chucky has a lot more quips and jokes, but it, it fits better. Like, I feel like that one's as good as, like, the first or the second. And this one was definitely low man on the totem pole so far. Yeah. We won't get into the seat of Chucky, because that's a whole different story. But, yeah, I think that's all. So, come back tomorrow for another movie that he's not aware of yet. Don't know. You don't actually know any of them for the rest of the month. Don't know. So yeah, see you later. Night.